it begs the question, are most interstellar comets atypical? Right. Right? Right, right, right. Because we don't know where they formed and how they formed, around what stars they formed and things like that. The other thing that's kind of weird about 3 Atlas is there's a lot of nickel and there's not a lot of iron. This right. is very strange because right. those two usually come side by side mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're, they're formed at the core of stars, during explosions, things like that. And... One can imagine that whenever they form in a dust cloud and, and they're in some environment, they have typically the same kind of elemental mass. So they're going to be forming together. It's not unprecedented again, mm -hmm. but it's definitely unusual. That, that, that there's that, a that, lot of nickel, there's not a lot of iron. The ratio between these two is so... Yeah. Uh, the, the delta is so large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, again, there's another question mark there. How do you get a lot of nickel on a comet but no iron? So, uh, it's an interstellar visitor. As we all know, it's the third interstellar object. We had 2i Borisov, which was basically just like a normal comet. Comet, Like any other comet that we'd seen, the only thing that was really different was that it was moving so fast that it wasn't trapped by the sun's gravity, mm -hmm. right? And then now we've got finally this guy, 3i Atlas. The I stands for interstellar. Mm -hmm. Of course, like N equals 2 is a very small um, sample, sample size. size, but 